Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to be working on the gear panel for the cockpit. The gear panel is one of the most used parts of the cockpit outside of the HOTAS. It contains landing gear, lights, landing configuration, and the stores. So it's one of the most vital panels. So using some MDF cutouts, we're going to head down to the wood shop and we're going to do some very abstract marking. It's a little interesting to do this one because there is no square reference edge, so it gets a little interesting. So we're going to see how we can turn an abstract drawing into a precise, detailed drawing that we can actually cut out. All right, so we're gonna pull up a cutout real quick and I'm going to cover exactly why this is actually a difficult piece to pull off. So here is the gear panel, here's the drawing of it, and there's really no reference point. Everything is at an angle and there's really not a place to measure from. It'd be kind of nice if I could make a base reference horizontal and then measure everything from there. But instead I've measured from the actual center and just picked a solid line and all my measurements will be from that abstract point. But there are kind of two methods to do it. One, either pick a center point and measure from there or physically trace, print out one to one and actually trace everything. Unfortunately, this panel is so big, it doesn't really fit on a piece of paper, even a big one or a small one. So we are going to use the measurement method. It's a little more complicated, a little more time, pretty precise, but that's the method we have today. All right, we are going to head down to the wood shop and get started with the plans and we're gonna start making this thing. All right, we are down here in the wood shop. And like I said, there are two methods that we could do. One is physically just lay the piece of paper on here and just trace it and then cut it out. But I don't have paper big enough, so we are going to use the dot drawing and it's basically just follow the numbers. So I have got an extra piece that we actually use for a test bed, so I'm gonna try and offset it up as much as I can. And over here, because this is actually a factory edge, which means it's straight versus any of the cut edges, they're gonna be a little harder to measure from. So I'm going to define a zero essentially, and we're gonna start from there. We're gonna start there with marking and we'll be back in just a second. This little guy is my center mark that basically correlates to where all of my measurements were taken from. So I'm going to start from there and we're gonna work there. So this and this-ish, is kind of where I zeroed from. So this corner is, it should meet up up here and it should meet up down here. Let's get to marking. All right, the first thing I did was take my vertical line from this edge, mark out all of my major diameter points. That way I can reference them from this edge. It's not a factory edge, but it'll have to do. That's not either. Oh well. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, so I marked out all of my critical distances from this edge. Now I'm going to essentially extend them over to wherever they need to go and start two-dimensionally plotting that and then use this axis to actually horizontally adjust them so that I've got essentially a coordinate grid. We're gonna do that next. Okay, that is the basic outline done. Now I've got to make the center part here and then the cutout here. The only problem is I don't want it quite as close as this because there's no meat to really grab onto. It's gonna be very hard to actually slot a panel in there. So I'm gonna move literally all my measurements half an inch to the left. That'll give me just a little bit more room, but it's gonna be tricky. We're gonna try it, we're gonna make it work and we'll see how it goes. All right, I've got this guy all laid out, but I need a quarter inch radius. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to use the calipers, set it on a quarter of an inch, put it on my center mark, and use these to scribe out just like you would with compass. Now we need a very light scratch so that we can put the pencil in it and make our little radius turn and we'll continue it. That's the top. I gotta cut that guy out. Let's mark out this guy, that'll be a little different, but interesting. Let's get started on that. All 
All right, so one deviation I'm gonna do from the plans is that instead of cutting this all the way down, I'm gonna come up half an inch, and I'm gonna do that on both sides and cut that, so I leave half an inch of material here on the bottom. Right now, that's just for structural stability. If I need it for the panel, I will cut that out, but I would like the extra structure if I can have it. So even if I can only have a quarter inch, I would much rather have that, but until I actually design and build the panel, well, it's mostly designed, but until I build the panel, I won't know how close I can go on that. So for now, we're going to leave extra material so we can take it away later. All right, so we are starting with the circular saw. It produces the straightest cut, and we're going to do the entire outside with it. So here goes. Okay, the second tool we're gonna be using is the jigsaw. We're gonna clean up this little corner and do all these guys, but first, I gotta drill a little hole in there so that the jigsaw blade actually goes in. So cutting with the jigsaw and holding the material, you can get into a situation where you're, if you can't see your fingers, you can cut them. So make sure that you're very cautious of where your fingers are and try not to have them on the back side of the material. But I still have mine. So here is the completed gear panel. Let's take it upstairs and go take a look. All right, guys, moment of truth. Will this fit and will it have the clearances that we need? Oh, yes. Perfect size, we got the angles right. That one's pretty close. That one's pretty decent. We got the little cutout for the vents in case you want AC or something. And these are big enough without running into, like there's actually clearance over here. So I can actually put the panels in versus before, this half an inch over would have been interfering with this guy in the back and I wouldn't have had any space to put it. So that, is phenomenal. I've also got a whole bunch of extra space here. So if I want to do buttons or something auxiliary that didn't actually go in the F-18, this is where I can put it. Well, one of the many places I can put it. Things like the F keys. I can put some of those up here or I can do auxiliaries. I can do switches. I can turn this into a button box if I need to because this is all unused real estate and I am incredibly dusty. I'm gonna need a shower, but that is the gear panel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing making this guy. As always, the plans are gonna be up on Patreon, so if you guys are interested in following along or building your own cockpit, definitely head over and check out the Patreon. Link's in the description below. And hopefully you enjoyed this, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.